now the installation is done you just have to put the cover cover back in it's not study you cannot see any gaps you see you cannot see any imperfection there the only thing is that we're gonna to have to seal that place seal it back in I'm gonna patch it up patch it up and uh, and then we'll do the wiring for the fan. What's well, gonna be permanent, it's gonna be connected to the to the light. So it works whenever the light is on. It's gonna be permanently on. So we don't need we're not gonna need a switch for it. But you can use a switch if you want to. Uh, this this time around I'm going to uh, connect it to the light so whenever the light is turned on. And then uh, this is the factory. So whenever the light is turned on, it will, the fan will become active. So it's going to be permanent, permanent with the light. All right, catch you. I will, I will see about patching that one up and then I'll do the wiring. So here's the gritty part of the whole thing. When you're up here in the ceiling, the ceiling is not very clean. When you're up here in the ceiling trying to connect uh, connect the, the fan so that's the connector I'm gonna have to that's the connector the touch light with my touch light you can barely see it but this is what we have here so the connector is open now I'm gonna have to run a cable from here to this box but first of all I have to make sure that there's no power in this box so I'm gonna run power from here to that box which which is linked to the to the light the light here see the light the light so <laughs> it's linked to this light here so I'm gonna make sure that I make sure that the light is off so that I can and be able to walk safely and not get electrocuted. I always think safety first. So the we'll go to the power box. The electrical power box and try to guess which one because it's not well labeled. Okay. There's an electrical power box here. So we'll have to try to get to find the right one. So it's uh, this is the fuse box, and it should be should maybe a six amp or six amp fuse, or maybe uh, uh, what do we have here? Oh, see, I mean sixteen amp fuse, I think. Could be a sixteen amp fuse for the lights, but some of them they have. Labels. So this one says outside light, and it's uh, it's only a six amp. It's not the right one. Somebody's lost this light. Cover this one. It says this room. Oh, it's the right one, but it affects this room as well. So now we know which one. No, it's the, okay. That's the emergency light. That it's on. So the power has actually gone out. But that's the emergency light. That's common. So that light is powered by the battery. So now we know which one, which one is the isolator. This is this one isolates it. So it's uh, it's this one here. So I know it. Now. So I have to switch it off, switch that one off before I start doing any job. You know, to be able to walk safely. So it's back on now. So let's hit it. No, you still have to test. You still have to check to make sure that there's no no power, no voltage. In order to you need a, a voltmeter to make sure that there's no voltage before you proceed to do any wiring at all. 
before you touch the electricity, you have to make sure that there's no power. So I have to measure the voltage coming in, make sure there's no power. So this should be the phase. much light here. That's the phase. And that's the neutral. So it's zero volts. If there was power in it, you have like 240 there. So it's telling you that it's dead. There's no light here. There's no power here. So now we can walk safely. You can touch with your hand now. And then and then there's no danger. So there's a few options. Can I either cut the cable somewhere here and join it to I can make a do a standard job and uh, put a gland here, cable gland, and create my own entry here. So I'm going to do create my own entry there. And then uh, use it to bring in the cable. I always want to do a standard job. You get paid for doing all this kind of this stuff, so but I will give it the best. Always make sure you don't cut the cable. Cable here, but make sure it's out of the way. Uh oh, and we got it drilled in. So now it's gonna go in here. So we're gonna bring the cable in from here. We need an entry for the cable. Mm -hmm. the position is not a good one. the hole just drilled. So we've got a situation here. Some amend, some amend to this, to this. So sometimes we don't get it perfect the first time. I've had to sand this one down because I took it too. I took, the drill wasn't centered, so it was a bit of a problem to get the. A gland in, so hopefully it works. Now, if not, I may have to do. I think it's not going to go in. So we're we're in a bit of a mess here. We we'll have to cut this one off a little bit here. Have to cut it off a little bit here so that we can be able to get it in. You know. to trim it a little bit otherwise it can go in 
soon plans, you don't get it exactly as you plan it, but I have to make adjustments. It's looking better now. gonna go in. through here there's a cable so that's the cable we're gonna use I'm gonna put it in through here Here we got four wires, and I'm going to use I'm going to use brown and gray. I'm going to cut off black. I'm not going to use black. So I'm going to use gray as my as my neutral, and I'm going to cut off. Uh, this is going to be the earth. Chassis Earth, and this is um, going to be my neutral. This is going to be my phase. Right. It's so uncomfortable to walk from here. So I'm making a lot of mistakes because she really go into the roof, to the ceiling, and that's what I'm going to do now go into the ceiling. So here we are. This is the light. So we just connect it to the light. Small screwdriver. and we know that there's no power here so we're not going to get electrocuted there's no fear of getting electrocuted so we can just jam it with this one in and take it out 
будет по полету. Phase here, yeah? the phase of the of the light, and we connected the to neutral here. Connected the the earth, and we're gonna cover it and then go over to the connect it in the fan as well. Have to tighten this. Need a spanner to do this. A wrench. We do, we do it better than tightening with the hand, but it's tight enough. It's not pulling. The cable is not pulling off. You just have to cover this, and then we're done with this part of it. And then we connect it, link it to the fan, and that's it. It's as simple as that. This is an extractor extracting from the cook shop, a big extractor because this is a food manufacturing factory I'm working at right now. So they have this to extract from, from the uh, kitchen to the atmosphere, to, well, to the treatment, to where they treat the, they treat the. They treat it for contamination before it, they treat it so that it does not contaminate the air. And then it goes to a system they call um, what do they call that? Well, they have to dilute the smell of the food with water somewhere along the along the structure, this extraction line. And then they have to to minimize the, the the emission to the atmosphere. So this one is done, and that's the new cable. So the new cable now is going to go to. This new cable, we're going to connect. We're going to um, we're going to wire up the the fan. The fan is here. We're going to wire up the fan now. So that's the fan. That's the fan in there. And that's the that's the connector of the fan. That's where we're going to take our cable now. This cable that we just uh, that we just connected, We're going to connect this end to that place, and that that's job job done, job done, chop chop. It's as easy as that. So when connecting it, make sure you know which cable that you're using because there are four of them here. Remember we cut off the black one, we'll cut off the black one again to make sure that we're using brown as our face. So first thing we'll do here is to cut off the black one as well. We use brown as our face. So we'll use brown again. Peel the rest. They're gonna go in there. It's a bit tight in here. We're trying to get this job done. So, 
this one is done connected it now now it's time to test it I point you in the right place or in the wrong place huh it's like I've been pointing in the wrong place all the while no I haven't So at least we know that the fan is running. Just have to put the cover and also tidy up that spot where the fan is fan is spot on, fan is running. To patch up that hole, I'm gonna use either of this, patch it up, my super glue. It's a bonding if I stick uh, the sun bonds well so I'm going to use it and I'm going to use um, a scraper to, to make it smooth so just going to apply some around here apply some around here and around the corners and stick it in there it's not, it's not going to be very difficult you know I mean, I'm not doing this in the right way that it should be done because it should be done with uh, plasterboard material. But I can't find that, oh, it's about to fall off, but I'm not gonna let it mess us about. <laughs> Next time you go into an office and you see a fan like this, that's how it's wired. I know how it's done.